Hey, any bad shit is the 3rd of March, 2020. And this came upon me, and I have to share it with you. I, I just don't know exactly how to interpret all of this, but I know it's meaningful because there are no coincidences. And over the last day to two days in Syria, we've had three warplanes and three drones shot down. This is a big deal. This will escalate things exponentially. And we were just talking about, I mean, I can't get over this, you guys. So, you know, I just give this stuff to you because it's given to me. You know what I mean? We're talking about the markets plunging and then the three jets bombing the mosque, Turkey, Syria. And it turns out it's the three jets that are bombed. You know what I mean? Three jets and three drones. This was the third fighter jet. This was the third incident right here. Just in the last couple of days. So, I mean, think about this. This is pretty crazy. We're just talking about this. The three jets, so on and so forth. And all this stuff plays out on the very day. And a lot of other things are going on, people. I'm just telling you. You need to prepare for these things. And be Firmly on the rock of Christ. Jesus. This is the only defense that you have against what the world is preparing to throw at us. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. You got a carrier strike group now in the Mediterranean, right along with the Russian Navy, which is also in the Black Sea. They are carrying cruise missiles, tactical nukes, no doubt. And we cannot forget that the U.S. is housing 50 B-61 nukes at Incrilic Air Base in Turkey. These are both tactical and strategic. Damascus will become a ruinous heap. I wonder if that will have anything to do with tactical or strategic nuclear weapons. And then on the same day, Netanyahu, basically he retained his crown, even though they cannot form a government. They are expecting their false messiah. Iran even shut down its government yesterday due to the coronavirus, of all things, right? As Turkey releases tens of thousands of refugees onto the Greek border, the markets, hey, there's, there's a happy part of all this. The markets sprung up exponentially. Happy days are here again, right? But they will never tell you that it's all debt being produced and it's being put on your back. It's just that simple. The Fed owns Trump. Period. Look look into who owns the Fed, if you know what I mean. Now, a tornado that ripped through Nashville on March 2nd is not normal at all. There's your climate change. I can guarantee you, if we look hard enough, you will see that there was some kind of shenanigans going on in order to get this tornado to form and rip through Nashville at this time of year. That's just insane. But this is the main thing I wanted to show you. The three jets shot down at the same time that we were just talking about this whole scenario. I just don't know how else to lay it out to you other than just give it to you as I get it, you know, and I'll just share what I got. And praise God, because he's revealing to us the times we're in you need Christ. He's the only victory that this dark world has any hope in. Seek him and peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 